What is up YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists, welcome to Chill with Pete, the Coffee Break Catch-Up Series, where I update you on things hobby related, life related, world related, I don't know, whatever. It's just an update. It's like, it's getting to the point now, because I used to be, I used to do, well, I do a paint-along series on the bench or on the beach, either one. They're both paint-along series. Um, and I would go into more... Uh, in depth about stuff, the updates, etc. Whereas this, let me just check the battery. Yep. Yeah. Whereas these uh, chill sessions are just like bullet points of what's going on, really. So uh, I can't actually remember how long it's been since I did one of these, but um, I've got a nicely temperature cup of coffee, so it might not go on as long, but uh, we'll see. Back along, I did um, an encounter in a box. It was the wagon ambush one, which I'm very pleased with. Uh, and I wanted to do a, another unboxing of an encounter in a box. There's another set, the prison break set or something it's called. But we'll have a look at that when the time comes. So I got that. I actually picked that up today. I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. So not much hobby done today. Um, might get a little bit done tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. Um, and Mrs. Minnie Wardson goes down to Plymouth tomorrow for uh, a couple of days, so, you know, but it means, oh, it means, it's just my eyes on them, on the boys, and the boys are Dylan and Lucian. Now, here's an update. Um, I want to do, because I do random videos as well, it's not just hobby stuff, um, it is hobby and nostalgia stuff, really. And I, I need to, I do need to put that in my kind of bio thing, I think. But um, I also do random stuff as well. And um, having, you know, had Dylan a couple of months now, and I've been trying different things out, I thought it'd be fun for me to do a couple of... Um, well, for Dylan and I to do a couple of um, reviews on the different sort of leads we use and what, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and what we use them for. Yeah, I'm going to be doing, well, we're going to be doing reviews of uh, different leads. Um, maybe some other stuff. As well. I just want to be fun, you know, it's just a fun thing to do. Whilst we're out and about, I've ordered a harness that I can wear for I can put um, my mobile phone in and hopefully um, do a bit of recording you know so that that might be cool to do uh, beats paying out for a GoPro and all that stuff isn't you know about less than nine quid as opposed to you know whatever the price of all that setup is so I thought yeah I'll just put that on there I can have it on my my body then hopefully slightly pointed down so you will see Dylan on lead, possibly my hands, and then I can talk over what, what we're doing through, and then I can give my thoughts at the end. That's just something I'm thinking of doing. Well, I want to do it, and I'm going to do it. So there's that I'm going to be doing. That yeah, there is a couple of other things I want to review with with the dog stuff as well, because um, you know uh, winter is coming, as they say. Um, so obviously we're going to have more bad weather. We've got a couple of coats to try out as well. You know, he's, um, we can review those as well. So that, that'll be good. That'll be good. I've been asked by uh, my local hobby shop if I want to host a couple of, or a host a uh, one-shot uh, game of either Call of Cthulhu or Alien. Something horror-related, you know, because... Um, uh, the the lady that runs the shop there, um, she runs games, but um, I don't know if she wants to run horror. Not kind of um, not what she's used to, I'm guessing. So, but that's okay. Um, you know, I'm I've, I'm in two minds about it. I, a, I'd love to. On the one hand, I would. I'd love to, but I always make. I like to make it a personal kind of a tick box really that I know a I know the people that I'm going to be hosting a game for and running a game for uh you know so that I can know what they like what they don't like what their personalities are 
you know you can avoid all sorts of problems by knowing your audience not just in role playing folks but uh, I'm sure you know that already but nice to be asked and you know I'm still giving it some thought some deep thought but um, yeah it's uh, it is nice to be asked it is but um, yeah I do like to know who I'm working with kind of thing you know if I'm going to be doing that I feel that role-playing games, if you're running a game, and this is just a subjective viewpoint, but I am of the opinion that if you're going to run a game for a group of people, you should be quite good friends, all right? That's just my opinion, because that's the way I, I came up, old school, you know, school friends, uh, you know, after school clubs, that kind of thing. And it was with friends. Yes, you make friends by doing that. But um, it's nice, like I say, it's nice to know your audience first. Some people have certain areas they don't like delving into. And it's particularly tricky when you're dealing with a horror game, you know. Especially in this day and age. Everybody's... Uh, super sensitive these days and they've all got certain triggers and you've got to watch what you say and how you do things and how you approach things and uh yeah so that, that's something i'm i am seriously thinking about but probably not going to for that very reason uh unless uh, may, maybe i could get to know the group first beforehand could be a little caveat there, you know, you know. I have to know the people um, if I'm going to do this. Um, but um, yeah, so the caveat being, if I do run it and I don't know them, uh, well, you know, I say I don't know them, so I don't know where it's going to go. <laughs> um, but yeah, whatever. That's okay. So I've got the Prison Break box set to unbox later. Then I'll do that. Got some more chaos stuff to build. I'm loving that at the moment. I've got I built my terminators as you saw. Haven't done anything more with them yet. Uh, literally, I've built the accursed cultists, and I've got some normal cultists that I'm going to build. Just building up groups that I could possibly use in a space Hulk situation. Um, obviously, we'll need adapting the rules uh, if I'm going to do that. But it is easily enough to adapt. And I use ChatGPT to help me adapt said rules. Very, very straightforward. So, you know, that, that's going to be a thing, I think. And I might, it might be fun to film a games of Space Hulk with adapted rules. I can, you know, put the adapted rules up. Maybe in a, like a link like a zip file or something, I don't know, a link um, to them where everybody can try them out. Um, if you want to play uh, a group of Chaos Terminators going through Space Hulk, do that, or some uh, cultists, um, yeah. Or even use the Chaos as the bad guys, uh, you know, it's just, it's just a bit of fun, really, at the end of the day. That's what it's all about, folks, fun. So, yeah, I've got that to do. It was lovely uh, to be able to build the other week. Beautiful. I haven't built anything in years. And it was a nice feeling. You know, it's just, oh yeah. Love building models. Knowing that I'm going to be painting them. I'm in the process of stripping some old Chaos Space Marines at the moment. Uh, because I think I can do a better job of painting them. Plus I want to paint them all up as Black Legion. I want my Space Chaos, sorry, I want my Chaos get it out in a minute i want my chaos space marine army to be black legion because i've got abaddon right and you know i've got him as the leader and i, and I would like practice at painting black because i've still got death watch to uh, paint up so the more black i can paint i know it's a boring color to paint and it's not the easiest for me oh excuse me but i want to try and push myself with that so that's going to be a fun project in the future i think i've got some scouts a kill team set of scouts actually which i will also 
want to use for Space Hulk. Or, you know, Lost Patrol, just different models. Better better sculpts perhaps than the old old school ones. But we'll see about that as well. It's basically just Space Hulk in the jungle, isn't it? You know? Yeah, if you want to simplify it. But yeah, so I'm cool with that. Uh, let's have some more coffee a moment. My mum, who was previously in hospital again because she had another fall, she's been moved to another nursing home. But this time it's here in Seaton, where I live, so that's good. I can get to see her much, much easier now. I mean, I could walk her there, but it's a long walk, so I'm going to drive. <laughs> I've already seen her um, the other day, day before yesterday, I saw her. Uh, she's, you know, she's, it's a lovely place. I think it's a lovely place. She seemed to be settling in. Uh, my sister went to see her today. Uh, you know, and it was it was okay until she went to leave. Sometimes she finds it hard. It's hard when you leave your loved one in a place where they, you know, they'd rather be home. Of course they would rather be home. But it's difficult, isn't it? When they need 24-hour care, they can't be at home because it's too dangerous for them, you know? And I just want, I want, you know, we all want the best for her. So, you know, we want... I want her to be looked after. And this place is the bee's knees. It's got a lot there going for it. I was, su I was super impressed. I've seen some nursing homes and thought, no, nah, I'm, not, I'm not a fan. But this one, I was very impressed with. So, uh, so that's good. So, yeah, I mean, I've got, talking about uh, Alien and Call of Cthulhu, I've got loads of stuff, all the books and whatnot here. Yeah. I was surprised she didn't mention uh, a vampire because that's a, a horror game as well, or werewolf. Perhaps, possibly, because I'm not as um, not as au fait with the rules, the modern rules, the, the fifth edition rules, as I am with like Alien and Call of Cthulhu. But you know, that's fine. I love the Alien rules, and I'm and I'm looking forward to seeing what the new uh, edition of Alien is going to be like. Cause, uh, you know, I found the first edition rules superb. Every edition. Of every game, it's going to have things that you could tweak, really. Every game I've ever known. Things that could be better or done better. You know, artwork drawn better, whatever it might be. But, um, you know, overall, I like to judge a, a game overall. Uh, and for me, Alien is ranked right up there. One of the best, you know, super, super game. Um, right, so that's that. Dylan's training's really coming on well. He and the cat stare at each other for a good few minutes today before he meant mental, and lost his mind. <laughs> and he's keeping himself in check a lot better now. And he's starting, I think, starting to get used to him. Um, I w I'm, I'm not going to say the cat is getting used to Dylan. He, he just doesn't care. He, he's already used to him he knows he's there and he's not really fussed about him but uh yeah the dog is gradually getting used to the cat which is a great thing my my ultimate dream is to uh, for us to all be together in one room sitting down watching watching a movie or, or uh, uh, like a series of something or something you know i like watching detective series and that Get to the end of Lewis at the moment, which is what we're watching at the moment. So we've seen, uh, we've seen Endeavor, we've seen Morse, and we're just getting towards the end of Lewis now. Um, just, I'll probably find something else to watch. I just like detective stuff, really. And of course, they're all linked, aren't they? And different time periods, but um, it's, it's, it's very, very good. I've seen a lot of um, painting tutorials on YouTube recently. I never get bored with them, especially things like how to paint a space marine, because everybody's take on it is different, slightly different. But I just love the aesthetic of watching the space marine model on a camera being painted and gradually... I just... I, I enjoy that. You could do the same one over and over. It doesn't make no odds to me. I just think it's fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. And, you know, historicals as well, that's that's also fine. I, I'm super cool with that. Watching tutorials on that, I, I just find it fascinating, you know, the whole concept. But it, it was good to build those 
chaos models um, last week, week before, or whenever it was. It was good to build them. It was good to get back into something GW related. It's been a while. And yeah, long may that continue. So uh, it'll be, yes, it'll be the um, n normal cultists. I say normal, normal chaos cultists next that I'll be building. And um, then I might think about painting them once I've gone through and eliminated the all the mold lines I can. You know, I do the obvious ones as I'm clipping them off and gluing them together, but um, you always see more, don't you, once they're glued and dried, and it's just, you, know, you think, oh, I must go and do that. What are we up to, 16 minutes? Let's see if we can get this one done. Oh, in November sometime, Mrs. Mini Warzone is going on a course down to Plymouth for a week. Um... And I've decided to take that week off because I had an extra week's leave to use up. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And hopefully, we can get a lot of stuff done uh, hobby-wise that week. And perhaps some of the, the, the Dylan lead reviews and stuff. I want it to be a bit of a journey as well about how our, our training is going. Because he's at, a good, he's at a good stage in his training for doing a review of a lead. Because when he walks well on a lead... Lovely loose lead walking. Unless he spots something or smells something, then he's off, he's pulling like a freight train, just get to the smell or whatever's triggered him, right? So that will be good for the lead practice and the reviews, uh, how comfortable they are, etc. I mean, I do advocate wearing gloves, especially these days, all different types of leads. A lot of them are rope based and you can really hurt your hands with the rope sliding through your wrist. Oh yeah, for your fingers. Um, Halty lead, I'm not sure on. Um, Going to be using normal leads, slip leads, uh, double leads. I mean, I suppose we could get Halty. We could get extendable lead to practice to do review as well. Not the string one, the stronger one. So we're going to get that. And also, yeah. yeah, so halting, yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely, I'm not entirely convinced it's good for the dog's muzzle. Um, I've had different conflicting things about it. I mean, they've all got their, up, their pluses and their minuses, every technique or a quick bit of equipment that you use for, um, you know, your dog. That's got its pluses and minuses. And some advocate, well, just go loosely walking them, but you can't really in some places because not all dogs get on and they don't have to, you know, they don't have to. But at the same time, you want to keep your dog safe and keep him on a lead in those situations um, or her. And uh, that, that's the way I, that's the way I, I view it, you know. Oops. Oh, yeah. I've also got a, do you remember I mentioned, I've got a T-Rex model, dinosaur model, that I will unbox at some time. I want to build that. That's really to get me going with the airbrush again. Because I want to paint him up using an airbrush, primarily. So I need to do a maintenance, a full maintenance on my airbrush. Oh, it'll take me ages. But, got to be done. I've been putting it off. I just need to get it done, really. And, and yeah, that's about it for update chill i've drunk my coffee hope you had a nice coffee or whatever to watching this video yeah if i think of anything else oh my part of my nostalgia thing with the with the channel has been doing games on the sinclair zx81 that i loved back in the day i've just been covering them so i did five games on the zx81 that i loved and then i did another video called another five games i loved on the zx81 and i'm going to do one more ZX81 game, yet another five games or five more games that I loved on the Sinclair ZX81. And I think that'll be, that'll be enough then, because I loved my ZX81, absolutely, uh, it was brilliant, so nostalgic for me. So, but I'm going to be doing that third video. They, they did really well. Views they got a nice lot of views from from my channel anyway you know 
because uh, you know most of my videos don't get that many views um but they did um i mean my airbrushing ones get a lot of views and my role playing stuff usually does as well like my D D stuff and all that but obviously my paint alongs don't and these don't but these are more the paint alongs and these are more therapy for me really i'm not making a video to get thousands of views i'm not doing that but i am doing it for myself because it's good therapy for me so but i'm happy to have you along i love to have you guys along you know if you can that's absolutely brilliant obviously the paint along ones are my ultimate favorite videos to make because i'm getting stuff painted as i gabble on about a load of crap you know <laughs> i'm getting stuff done and that's cool that's really cool it's amazing what you can get done in one hour it really is um and you've got something to show for it at the end so before i go on too much longer all right 22 minutes sorry uh, but there's a couple of bits to edit out, so I hope we bring it down a little bit. I will see you on another video, my friends. Do remember all brushes lead to war. I'll see you there. Bye for now. Bye-bye.